Well, we've been considering writing equations, and now we're going to write a formula. And a formula is really nothing more than an equation, but where we've got a relationship between certain quantities. And we're going to take this sentence here, and we're going to turn it into a formula. So, in a right triangle, the square of the measure of the hypotenuse which we're going to define with the variable C, is equal to the sum of the squares of the measures of the legs A and B. So let's see here. Let's sketch this out a right triangle just for fun. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And as you can see, it's not perfect. But let's see. All right, we're going to call this a right triangle. We're going to identify that. We know it's a right triangle because we got a little box right there. And let's see, the first, anytime we're looking at right triangles, we want to identify the hypotenuse, which is directly across from the right angle. And so we're going to label that as C. And then we got two legs. And let's say we just say that this leg is A and this leg is B. So let's go back to our sentence. In a right triangle, the square of the measure of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the measures of legs A and B. Now, if we were to write this into a formula, we could write this as A squared plus B squared. There's our two legs, and they're squared. The square of the measures of legs A and B equals C squared which is C being a hypotenuse. So the sum of the square of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Now, you may or may not recognize this at this stage, but this is what is called the Pythagorean theorem or the Pythagorean formula. And if we know the measure of any two sides of a right triangle, we can use this formula to find the remaining side. Now that is a Shazam moment. This is one you'll want to remember. You'll see it quite a bit as you go through your math career.